Well, hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the function of the left arm in the right-handed golf swing. Before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, okay? Um, give me a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video talking about the function of the right arm. So, I figured I better give the left arm a little bit of love because it's also on the golf club. And to be frankly honest with you, for us right-handed golfers, it may be a little bit more important than the right arm. So what are the keys that we're looking for out of the left arm, okay? And I guess I'd like to start off with a little saying by my former mentor, Hank Johnson, in the, in the video about the right-handed, about what the right arm does. I talked about what Hank said. So let me tell you what Hank said about the left arm and specifically about the left wrist in this area down here. And he said, if you could build a left wrist that was perfect for golf, it would do two things. It would hinge, okay? Now notice I'm not bending the wrist. I am hinging the wrist out of this little indention we've got right here. It just hinges that way. And he said that the left forearm and that left wrist would roll. So the left wrist function is a hinge and a roll. But he said we would never have a left wrist that would bow or bend. Now, I know there's a trend in golf right now and you see some tour players out there with a bowed left wrist at the top of the backswing. I don't recommend that very much for the amateur player. You've got to, on the downswing, if you've got that bowed left wrist, you're going to have to have an exceptional pivot and the ability to hold off that closed club face because that bowed left wrist is going to shut the club face. So again, we're talking here the average golfer. And I agree with Hank. If we can get a left wrist that can hinge, we can have a left forearm and a left wrist that rotate or rolls, then that's going to be the best function out of that left arm. So let me show you how that works in the golf swing. Now, as we go along here, I want to emphasize one thing. All of you out there, you need to stop trying to keep your left arm straight, okay? That's not a function of the left arm. That's a function of the right arm. Getting the right arm in the right position with some width to it keeps the left arm straight. Y'all are trying to keep your left arm straight. You put tension into that left arm. You lock it to try and keep it straight, and it restricts mobility. It doesn't give you the ability to let that left arm roll, okay? So let me switch you around to this side, and let's talk a little bit about these functionalities. All right, so let's talk about this function of the left arm, okay, including left wrist, left hand main function here is going to control this club face. The club face in the golf swing is controlled by a flat lead arm, I mean lead wrist, okay? I need that left wrist for a right-handed swing to be flat. I need that left wrist at the top of the back swing to be flat. I need that left wrist to control that club face. So if we're going to have controlled club face, we're talking about the left arm, the left wrist, the left hand. Your left hand grip better be on that golf club correctly. If you have a bad left hand grip, you're going to struggle with every single bit of this. So if you haven't seen my video about how to grip the golf club, go back and go find it. I don't want to go over that right here. So once we get set up in the golf swing, I've got a great left hand grip. You're going to notice at address, my left wrist has got a little bit of a cup in it. There's a little bit of a bow. I mean, a little cup in that left wrist. I don't start off with it flat. It flattens in the backswing. My hands, my arms are right in front of my chest. I'm going to move my arms and the golf club with my pivot. And it's my left arm's job, along with the right arm, to keep that golf club in front of my chest. My pivot moves the arms in the club, keeps the arms in front of the chest to about 
waist high with the club in the backswing or parallel to the ground. About this time, my right arm is going to bend. And when my right arm bends, we need to learn to let that bending right arm flatten that left wrist. As that right arm bends, it also, that left wrist, is doing its hinge. So I have let that left wrist hinge right there in that joint. So now I've got the left wrist flat, the left wrist is hinged, club is still in front of my body, I continue my rotation, I get to the top, my arms are wide, my left arm is relatively straight. If you got a little bend in that left elbow, no big deal. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. Don't think you have to keep that left arm straight again, like I said earlier. So now, now that we've got that hinge, we've got the left wrist flat, which is keeping that club face nice and square. The back of the left wrist and that club face are in line. Okay. Now on the downswing, all I should be thinking about now is letting my arms feel like they're falling a little bit as my body unwinds. So from this angle, I'm going to let my arms fall. I don't want my arms going out towards the ball. I'm going to let my arms fall. As my arms are falling, my body is unwinding. And you're going to notice that that unwinding of my body delivers that club head out there to the golf ball. Now, a lot of people like to talk about the release and think about the release. And I'm a big one of... You know, this hinge that we created in the, in the top of the backswing, or in the backswing, that's going to come out on its own. If you have a good pivot, your arms are dropping, putting that club back on plane, that, that wrist hinge is going to come out. When that wrist hits, hinge comes out, it actually is going to increase some of our club head speed. The thing I like to have my students really think about is... As their arms are dropping, as their body is unwinding, I want them to think about this left forearm rotating. And the rotation of this left forearm, that left wrist needs to remain flat. So when I get myself over to this side, to the forward swing side, the back of that left wrist is still flat. I don't want to see this left wrist bending and getting yourself into that situation. As soon as that left wrist bends, you've lost control of the club face. So let me put the camera back here behind me again and let's kind of go through a shot. Okay, so now we've kind of got the function of this left arm. Arms stay in front of the body on the backswing. I've done multiple videos about this. Pivot moves us back about halfway. Left wrist hinges as the right elbow bends. Left wrist gets flat. I get to the top of my backswing, flat left wrist, square club face, in line with the left wrist. Now, to start that downswing, let my arms drop. As my arms are dropping, the body unwinds. As the body unwinds, the left arm rotates. And that left arm rotating with that left wrist flat is controlling your club face. Let me see if I can hit one or two here. Okay, great grip. Pretty nice and solid right there. Now, one thing y'all don't know is it's about 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I got home last night at midnight after 25 hours of travel back from Italy. I was on vacation for a week. So I'm amazed that I even hit that golf ball. All right, so why is it important that this left arm gets under control and it does its function and it controls the face? Well, then it lets me then control the golf ball. This is what's gonna allow me to, let my, to curve my golf ball the way that I want it to curve. So if I come into a shot and I want my ball curving a little to the right, I'm gonna let that left wrist under rotate a little bit. It's not going to stay straight at the target. I'll kind of let it, you can see here, rotate back the other way, which in effect, is gonna let that face open just a touch. 
Everything else in the swing is basically the same. Okay, good setup, good grip. Held off that rotation, that ball curves a tiny bit to the right, okay? If I need my golf ball to rotate, to curve more to the left, okay? I've got a pin that's over on the left. I, I've got to get around a tree. I'm gonna do the same thing in the backswing, just on the downswing, I'm gonna let that left arm rotate a little bit more. So same thing, good grip. A little bit more rotation, nice draw on that golf ball, okay? Now, I need that ball to curve more left for whatever reason, okay? I can just let that left forearm rotate even more. Oh, that one wasn't it. That one went kind of dead straight. I was a little late in my rotation right there. Let me try that one more time. Okay, left forearm rotates a lot. There you go. That gives me more curve to the left. So the wrap up to this is, do you wanna control your golf ball more? Do you wanna have more control over your game? Well then you better have control over what your left arm is doing. Your left arm is really, really in control of this golf club what the function of your left wrist and how that arm rotates is really controlling the face of your golf club. You want your score to lower, you want to control that ball more, you got to control your left arm. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to tell you how much I appreciate all of you all um, and that you come back and you watch my videos. It, it really means a lot to me. So I will see you in the next video. I've got a lot more content coming and see you next time. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe.